Hi there, Michael Bovey with Debt Bites. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about what to do with credit card debt in a divorce. There's a bunch of scenarios that play out over the years of working with people and when you can go at it with a little bit more of a deliberate approach and if you're still in pretty good communication with your spouse, soon to be ex-spouse or already ex-spouse, it's really helpful. First of all, when you get divorced and you have multiple accounts with balances still owed on them, some in his name, some in her name, you're in a situation where the court is typically going to assign liability or responsibility for who's going to pay what, okay? Great position to be in is to not have any liability over the credit card debt. But if they're in your name, you actually are still on the hook. And it's a huge concern and it's something that I see repeated over and over again, where you get divorced, you move on with your life and your financial life and everything's fine. You have debts in your name or that you opened, you know, you're both responsible for and your co-signatories on the credit card. But the spouse, the ex, is responsible for paying one or more of them. Suddenly they run into financial turmoil and are unable to. And now you're hearing from debt collectors and now things are appearing on your credit report and your score is going down. But everything in your financial world is fine. Not really, because you are on the hook for those debts. The court's decree does not disengage you from any obligation. You are still on the hook for that legally. So Bank of America could still sue you for that debt, even though a court said your ex was supposed to pay for it. You can go back to family court and open this whole situation up if you need to or want to, but that's not going to stop Bank of America from damaging your credit report or from chasing you in court. You could end up with your wages garnished, even though you thought everything was cool and the divorce decree was solid and the bills were going to get paid. Ideally, obviously, some ways to prepare for this. Get rid of the credit card debt before the divorce. Get things out of your name if you can, if you were a co-signature on a, on a credit card. Even remove yourself as an authorized user, okay? but. If the damage is done, you have to usually come up with a plan that's going to resolve the debt that's in a way that represents your interest because you're the one on the hook for this and take it up with the spouse later. If you are in a situation where your divorce isn't final and you can come up with a plan because you still have that communication level with your ex or soon to be, then it's ideal to come up with a way to resolve those debts and move on with your financial life separate of each other without still being connected with these credit cards through your finances. Ideally, if you are now divorced and watching this video and you're wondering what to do is to uh, explore those either tentative lines of communication or the open lines of communication that you have with your ex and come up with a scenario that is going to work for both of you. What if you're watching this video and you're the spouse that cannot continue to make those payments and your ex is going to be impacted by the decisions that you make? You can actually file bankruptcy and dissolve yourself of any of the debt. Chapter 7, discharge it all, you're off the hook, but your ex could still be on the hook. And if you're taking more of a responsible view for that, communicate, okay? Life is life, it happens, it happens all around us. It's what this YouTube channel is really about when it comes to life and debt. But communication is the key. Give anybody that you know is, could have an opportunity to come up with a plan before their credit is damaged or before they start hearing from debt collectors and certainly before they get sued because as you can learn throughout our YouTube channel is, is that no matter what cycle your debt is in, no matter what bucket, whatever stage of collection things land in, there's usually a solution if you're proactive and you can take the time to put together a plan rather than be reactive and you weren't afforded that opportunity. So please communicate even if it's by email. Let your ex know if you're running into trouble uh, so that they can prepare themselves for that. See you on the next video.